Okay, tonight we're going to pull out a couple realistic receivers from the early 1970s. These were made by Hitachi for realistic. We have a 120, STA 120 and STA 120B, which is higher wattage. And then we have the STA 180, which is a very rare receiver. These are all in original condition, unmodified, but um, cleaned up and cleaned out. So we'll do these one at a time and then uh, we'll see how they perform. Okay, we've got a Bluetooth device connected and this is a first power on. We're just gonna power it on because I wanna see what happens. It probably will be fine. I just heard a thump and there's no protection circuit because it's from that vintage. So we're gonna go ahead and Let's see here, I believe this is auxiliary. A little crackly. We are double EQing because we have the audio going through an equalizer here with quite a V. And I have to treble all the way up, bass in the middle, loudness on, we have different filters, seems to be working pretty well. I believe this is 30 watts per channel. If we switch to the FM, there we go. There's a tuning indicator. It's picking up a radio station without even an antenna hooked up. And that's the local station. Let's try AM. That's good sensitivity. Usually AM does not come in down in the basement. We're getting AM in the basement. So, but anyways, so that is the 120B, and we'll do the next one in a minute. the 120 the only real difference is this, this is 10 watts lower and the volume knobs are a little bit different this one's missing the remote switch it's uh, it's broken so I, it, it's I took it out because it had a problem if I remember correctly this one is a little bit more brilliant it sounds a little bit better so let's go ahead and we'll give it a comparison on top is the STA 120 um, they really are almost identical except these have lower fuse ratings. This is a 2 versus a 2.5. Same inputs. Um, I believe this is 30 watts a channel where this other one was 40. That's my understanding. We're going to go ahead and turn this around and we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the other one is just go ahead and power it up. All right, here's the power on. I'm going to put a fan up here just to keep it cool. 
Okay. Let's go ahead. That one. I think this one sounds a little bit better. Check the sensitivity on the uh, on the tuner. This has a different knob because it was missing one. Let's start with FM. And it is picking up some signal. Not as good as the as the other one, but it's picking up signal. Let's try AM. From minus seven and a half to minus one and, and it's a half. picking up AM as well. So it actually is picking up both of the, uh, you know, it's, it's, it actually is picking up reception in my basement without any antennas. Okay, this is the realistic STA 180 um, around 1972, 1973. You'll see the logo, it's ARS, that's Allied Radio Shack. Rumor has it, Marantz threatened realistic because of the gyro tuning. This has a separate tuner for AM and FM though, it's kind of unique. It'll be really cool once we power it on. Um, it's hard to tell though if that actually happened, that lawsuit, or if there was a, a formal threat. But it was not on the market very long and there's not a lot of these. Uh, 60 watts per channel and uh, similar to the STA120 and 120B. It's made by Hitachi. All the components inside actually have Hitachi logos and labels. Um, let's go ahead and we'll plug it in. Okay, here's the STA 180. Um, this hasn't been powered on for about five months, six months, so we're gonna power it on cold. Um, should be 60 watts per channel. Let's see what happens. I can tell already it's got more power than the others.
let's check the FM and AM radio sensitivity compared to the others with no antenna. Let's do FM, and you'll see it has a separate FM band. It's picking it up. And you'll notice that it changes color. And with no fees or savings accounts. Let's see if we can get it in stereo. When it's in stereo, it's red. When it's mono, it actually is white. So that's kind of a cool feature, how it changed from yellow to red. It's picking up an FM station just fine. Let's try AM. AM will turn on the other side here. And that's picking up okay. Maybe not as sensitive as the others, but the fact is it's working. Normally in a basement like this, you don't get any, um, you don't get any reception. Thanks a lot everyone for watching the demo of our three early 1970s realistic receivers. All original, unrestored, and um, cleaned up and in working condition. And I would say they're in good condition. Uh, maybe not great or excellent, but at least they're working.